I'm Chris Cannon and I'm the Director of Environmental Management and Chief Sustainability Officer at the Port. We manage the water quality uh, to make sure that the water is clean and I'm proud to say it is very clean. We actually see dolphins running down the, the channel and a lot of really, really teeming life in the water. And then of course there's air quality and all the different impacts to not only the immediate area and immediate communities but also the broader world at large. I feel like it was always after me to be into this. Um, I graduated from college and I was a legislative assistant on Capitol Hill in Washington DC for environmental stuff. And then I was a lawyer for a while but I always ended up getting involved with environmental issues because I knew about them. And now for the last 13 years I've been with the port so I'm really, really fortunate I get to do something that involves all the things that I like and enjoy. I mean, I learn new things about African American history all the time. You know, you think you know it all and you actually don't. Somebody tells you something. I learned just recently, for instance, something that I thought was pretty cool, that there was a, a black man who became a member of the bar in 1844. So that would have been 20 years before the end of slavery. How the heck did that happen? People wonder, why, why should I be interested in Black History Month? The answer is because it's a really cool story. My great uncle opened a school for, uh, to educate ex-slaves, um, which is pretty cool. It took a lot of guts to do that back then. It's in the 1800s, it was in Alabama. And so education has been a big thing in my family. My, my great uncle obviously was a teacher, my grandma was a teacher, my dad was a teacher. I got cousins who were teachers pushing to achieve and do things. It's in my family and I'm proud of them and you know they're my role models when I think of the stuff you know that I try to do in my life. I would really like to see more African Americans get involved with the environmental business. I think it's fascinating work. Um, you get to do things that are cutting edge and you get to do things hopefully that you know make a difference in people's lives. I, I think it's a fantastic thing to do for a living. It's hard sometimes and you know it seems like you never do enough but um, but I really enjoy it and I feel very lucky and fortunate to be a part of this.